Space Shooter has to be one of the most coded thing in game dev. It's simple to do and pretty fun to test, and have a nice combination all around from basic code to basic AI and even basic music and art to implement. But we can always make it easier in coding a fluid and fast weapon system. Make sure to subscribe, sound the horn, and let's get started. Hi everyone, it's Sir Fadrick and welcome back to another adventure in our game Mechanics Quest where we take a deep dive into famous game mechanics and try to code them out using Unity. In this adventure, we're trying to code an incredible and simple weapon system for a space shooter game or maybe any game that may use this future. So this can be implemented in 2D games and 3D games and in our test today, we're sticking with a space shooter themed game. We started the test by just setting up the scene in Unity, adding the player character, the player movement for our test. For the art, I'm using the Kenny asset for space shooter game. It's pretty nice and easy to implement. I used the player character and added some enemies and I used a lot of bullets to demonstrate how fluid the weapon system will be. Second, I just set up the basic movement system for the player. It's a simple system that uses two scripts. First, the map boundaries that will have the boundaries of the map. As simple as that, the X and the Y of the map that sit in the inspector so we can clamp the movement of the player inside the screen. It's a simple hack to achieve a better movement without using collisions and physics. Second, we have the player movement script, which consists of two main functions the move function and the clamp movement the move function will just take the input from the horizontal axis and vertical axis and the clamp movement will just clamp the movement of the player inside the boundaries of the map now let's get into the weapon system for this system we need to divide it into parts first part is the weapon parallel and the second part is the main system so it's simple and very straightforward as in real life and i always love to code from bottom to top and as in software engineering, each class has to do one job. So here we have the first class, the weapon barred class, which only have one thing to do, which is shoot the weapon. So it has only one function, which is shoot, and the game object that we have to set the bullet for this weapon barrel. And in the shoot function, it just initiates the bullet from its transformation and its rotation, and it's done. Second class or second script is the weapon system controller which has a list for all the weapon barrels that are linked to this weapon system. So maybe the weapon system level 1 will have one barrel, level system number 2 will have a double shot, so two barrels, level system number 8 maybe have 16 barrels and so on. So in this barrel or in this class we'll have one list consisting of all weapon barrels and the shoot function that will just loop over all the weapon barrels in the list and shoot each one of them. And to finish the weapon system, we need to get a class for the bullet. So the class for the bullet is pretty straightforward. In the update function, the bullets just move on and in forward direction. And in trigger, can see the enemies and the boundary of the map, asteroid and everything else. Now let's get to the final script in our project, which is the player weapon system. And in this class, where the player controls the weapon system that he has on his ship, so we start by having a list containing all the weapon system controllers aboard his ship and another integer that will contain the current weapon system used or the weapon level we can say that we have three main functions the shoot function that will get the weapon system controller and just apply the fun shoot function to it next we have the level up and level down that will change the weapon system depending on when the player maybe get a power up or get a number of score when killing a lot of enemies this depends on the game design of the full game but the player will start from level 1 and just move along the list of weapon systems so if for example let's say the player now is level 1 so the, he will lose the weapon system controller level 1 and apply the function shoot it will go to the weapon system controller class and apply the shoot function there that will loop all over the weapon bars of that system and just shoot them one by one now let's see this implemented in the inspector here we can see that we have the player ship game object and it has a lot of weapon systems as children 
each open system contain a number of barrels that will shoot a bullets from and we can see by just clicking on them that the weapon system have a list of all weapon barrels and the player ship have a list for all weapon system inside it and we, if we can take a closer look to the barrels we can see that each barrel have a different bullet that we set up in the prefabs folder and each bullet will have a different speed different damage that depends on the bullet class and we can notice that the weapon barrel have a different rotation so we can just simply change the rotation where the bullet will go and if you can see here that the mega weapon system has a over 16 to 15 barrel and will shoot like crazy killing everyone on screen so just to see or just to show how powerful this weapon system is implemented in this game and this full project is available on my github page so just visit there and download this project and every other project in the game mechanics quest i hope you like this small episode on how to create an upgradable and simple weapon system for your space shooter game also for your actual game or your platformer this can be used everywhere it's a simple code structure and the mindset if you made it this far consider subscribing and joining our kingdom over on discord where you can suggest new ideas and have fun with our little community but now don't forget to like share and don't forget again to subscribe see you all in the next adventure.